Dirty pop. Yo. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Pop, Lock, and Drop It. I am your host, JD. Uh, I was going to be doing this uh, Pop, Lock, and Drop It, or actually, I did do this Pop, Lock, and Drop It about a week ago, but for whatever reason, my phone never saved any of the footage, so I was only able to put out just the uh, the mixer stream that we did last week. Uh, so, my bad, but even better because i'm actually going through this whole uh july weekend i'm actually filming a bunch of videos so that way i'll be able to have videos for the next couple weeks for you guys because we want to make sure that we put out content for you guys to enjoy and so let's get started all right so the very first pop that i'm going to be going over with you today is raiden from mortal kombat raiden Yes, the God of Thunder and Lightning, Raiden. Um, I actually have the Liu Kang already. I actually did it on a video. It was a GameStop uh, buyout. I, I forget which one it was, but it was a pop, lock, and drop it. I did a few months back. So as you can see on the back, there is no chases on this line. So I got Raiden and I got Liu Kang. I did buy uh, Sub-Zero and I bought it off of uh, Walmart.com as I did with uh, Raiden, but he came damaged. So... I'm an inbox collector, so I don't like that. You know, I, I I'm not a really like a psycho. Like I'll if it's okay, like if it's not really damaged, I'll accept it. You know, um, it may hurt. You know, if I ever trade it in, which I don't foresee me doing. You know, I guess I if I get a really really big collection, I might. But um, he was like super damaged. Like the box was completely destroyed, and I'm like, how could they even like send it to me like this? They should have at least sent me a message. Hey, it's, it's the box is really broken. Do you really want it? Then I would have said no. But um, so I sent him back. He was on rollback as well as uh, Raiden. And of course, now I have Liu Kang. And ooh, this is what he looks like out of the box. He actually is doing his, you know, a lightning uh, bolt uh, projectile move that he does on the game. Now, there is other uh, Mortal Kombat series out there. I believe it's for Mortal Kombat 11, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this is the one Raiden that I have, or that I just got now. I got him about a few weeks back. Um, yeah, it was, it was right before my wife went and got her surgery on her ankle. So I got him in, on walmart.com. I actually like this particular Raiden other than the other Raidens. I would say maybe my second favorite is Raiden from Mortal Kombat Part 2. As you can see, uh, Jaden walking in the background. But... Um, yeah, this is actually one of my favorite Raiden. I'm not really a big fan of the Raiden from Mortal Kombat 11. Although he looks really cool. It's just not a favorite of mine. So let's go over the next one. All right, in keeping with the Mortal Kombat uh, pops that we just went over for the Raiden. The next one I'm going to be going over with you is Scorpion. Scorpion. Yes, Scorpion, the lost soul from the ninja uh, from Mortal Kombat Part 1. As you can see, he's doing the get over. And this is what he looks like out of the box. And thankfully, he did not come damaged. I got, I bought Raiden, Scorpion, and Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero uh, had to be returned. But uh, the, I actually like this version of the uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero this ninja suit um the next one if i would say my next favorite would be the scorpion and sub-zero from the mortal kombat deception which was an older video game that was the only ones that i like all the other ones are cool but not my favorite i really did not like the scorpion from mortal kombat 9 it just whatever he was wearing in the back it just didn't look right but um you know i mean i'm i'm a I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. This is actually one of the first games that I ever bought on a, on a Sega Genesis. 
I remember my dad bought the Sega Genesis with a bunch of games. He got like, um, it came with like Streets of Rage and Sonic. And then the next thing that we actually bought for the Sega Genesis was Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat was actually the only game back then on the home consoles that actually came with blood. You had to unlock it, but with the uh, Super Nintendo, they didn't want blood on it. They so that it was all gray, so it's supposed to be sweat. But um, you know, I actually liked it on Genesis a lot better than Super Nintendo. So I've always have a uh, big you know spot in my heart for Mortal Kombat Part One. Part Two was a lot harder um, as far as like difficulty, and then Part Three was kind of like you know hit or miss i mean if you were either really good or really really bad um i was i was always kind of in the middle but i like this pop it's pretty cool can't wait to get the uh, sub-zero so i can complete the set and then i can start on with the mortal kombat 11 one so if anybody has a line on those other mortal kombat um pops let us know on either instagram twitter or our facebook page which i will leave in the description all right, the last one that I'm going to be going over with you today is Wonder Woman 84 from the new Woman, Wonder Woman 84 movie that's going to be coming out soon. This is the Walmart exclusive of with her and her golden armor. And so on the back, you can see there's so many different ones you can get. So there's gonna be the Cheetah, Barbara Minerva, which is Cheetah before she turns, and then there's gonna be Steve Trevor, Diana Prince Gala, so Diana Prince and when she's in her gala uh, dress. Then there's gonna be the Wonder Woman Golden, Golden Armor Flying, which I don't believe, uh, maybe that's a chase. Then there's Wonder Woman Flying by herself with no golden armor, and then just regular Wonder Woman with her golden lasso, the lasso of truth. So this moment, this movie is actually not out yet, um, but I am really, really hoping to see some movies come out soon because of the coronavirus. A lot of movies got postponed. Um, like one of the movies that I'm really, you know, anxious to see is The Black Widow and Top Gun Maverick, as well as Wonder Woman 84. So, but this is what she looks like out of the box. Pretty cool. And one second here. So this is golden armor. So it looks like there's a different one. Oh no, this is the same one. Cause I thought this one might've been different cause the wings aren't as spread out as it is on this one. So I was getting kind of confused. That is interesting. All right, so it might have just be the golden armor just by itself, but not the Walmart exclusive. So it's quite a bit of different ones that they have for the Wonder Woman, um, you know, I actually have one Wonder Woman before. That was one of the first pops I got when I started collecting pops back in September. My wife got it at a, uh, a flea market. I had gotten the Star Wars Solar ones first, and then she found um, Jose Aldo and Wonder Woman. And then, you know, that's the only Wonder Woman that I have on my collection. But this is pretty cool. I hope to get the other one with just the, the Lasso of Truth. That's pretty awesome. And... I really want to get a Steve Trevor. I actually want to collect all of the first one from the first Wonder Woman uh, movie that came out back a few years ago. But that's pretty much it we have for you today. Thank you so very much, everybody. Um, we are. What I'm doing is I'm actually filming a lot of videos for you because I won't be able to go do any like toy hunting or purchasing anymore for like a little bit for a few weeks. But I wanted to make sure that I did a lot of videos for you that I kind of stockpiled a lot of stuff uh, over the last couple weeks because I've been taking care of my wife as she's recovering from her ankle surgery. She's doing well. So as you can tell, I'm wearing the same shirt in a lot of these videos that we have so far already. So that's that's the reason why I'm just recording back to back to back. So I have something for you guys to watch uh, in the next coming weeks. So. Be sure to like and subscribe. We are still doing that giveaway for 100. Once we hit 100 subscribers, we're at 91 right now. So we only need nine more. For we're going to give away the bit, the little Toy Story toy for the giveaway also. Yep, it's a mystery box of stuff, but he indicated that he is going to give away uh, his mini Toy Story figures. Um, I also um, included that we're going to do a Mandalorian box set of trading cards and one package of the Batman Returns 
uh, trading cards that I have that I did in an earlier um, episode of Pick a Card. So all you have to do is like, subscribe to the channel, comment on any of our uh, video submissions on either Instagram, um, Twitter, or Facebook. And of course, if you uh, tag two of your friends, then it will enter you in, as like an extra um, entrance, uh, extra entrance into the giveaway. And once we hit 100 subscribers, we will let you know. Um, this was just past the July 4th weekend that I just uh, recorded this. So hope everybody had a really great uh, July 4th weekend. Be safe. Keep on cruising, brother. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pop, Lock, and Drop It. I am your host, JD. And we're going to be going over some more pops. If you're just watching us for the very first time, welcome and hope you subscribe. But this is a segment of the J&J &J Toy Giants YouTube channel. We go over all types of Funko Pops and Funko Vinyls as well. Um, so this this uh, haul, I should say, I got at Ollie's. And just when I thought Ollie's was just bone dry and I'm never going to find any cool stuff again... Then they just pull me back in. And I actually went uh, about a couple weeks back and, you know, just browsing for regular things. I always, you know, check just to make sure I might find something. But man, I was presently surprised that they actually got some more Funko Pops, really cool ones. Um, one of them was the Peter Venkman that I did on the Father's Day one. Yeah, the Father's Day edition of the uh, Pop, Lock and Drop it. I found a Peter Venkman as well as these that I'm going to be going over with you today.